bring in our political analyst John Dadian to talk about this speech that uh, Mitt Romney just gave at this uh, in Utah. Good morning. Good morning. Um, what was your initial reaction to this speech? Well, first of all, as far as delivery, before we even get in content, one of the best I've ever seen. And a lot of people that I've been hearing around are saying, why wasn't he this way when he was a candidate? So that's, I think, a, a very interesting. But to me, it's real simple as far as a very black and white speech. Those who are already anti-Trump are going to love this. But i got to be honest with you. I think those that are uh, pro-Trump right now, this is feeding into them. Everything that he's saying is the whole reason why they're supporting Trump to begin with. Mitt Romney is almost the epitome, and he's aligning with the Republican establishment who's trying to stop Trump, and that just fuels into Trump's argument, quite honestly. What is going on? I've never seen anything like this. Nobody I mean, has. This is hardball to the nth degree in, in the Republican politics. Now, what could happen to the Republican Party? Is this going to fracture it? I know you just made the, an analysis, but it seems to me that we're heading to a brokered convention. Perhaps I'm being too optimistic as a <laughs> lifelong Republican, yeah. but I honestly think if Donald Trump is the nominee, a Republican major party nominee, and the opponent is Hillary Clinton, I do think a lot of people, they won't stay home. That's the fear. It's not that they'll vote for Hillary, it's that they'll stay home. I think they won't stay home. I think they will go with the Donald Trump as a nominee if the alternative is Hillary Clinton. In this speech, and well, let's stay, stick to the speech since it just wrapped up seconds ago. Um, in this Mitt Romney speech, it appeared that he was able to hit Donald Trump in the way in which the other candidates, like Cruz, like Rubio, like Kasich, even like Christie, um, he was able to hit Trump in a way that we have not yet seen. Why? Well, who's writing this speech? And why don't these other guys have the same speech writer? That's, that's, that's a great point. As I've already said, it's one of the best deliveries I've ever seen. The content, I don't know what point he didn't hit. He hit everything, everything. foreign policy, trade, uh, et cetera. Um, uh, I got to tell you, uh, of all the candidates uh, that are currently uh, still in the running, the one I was most disappointed in the last week is Rubio in the sense that instead of giving a Romney-type speech, he started getting into the personal trying to out-Trump Trump, mm -hmm. and it's not working. It's not working. Right. At least Cruz is still trying trying to do similar to Romney. So you're, tr you're a Trump advisor. What do you say to Donald Trump? How should he respond to this? What can we expect? Oh, start, keep saying, stay, stay on message. And one of the cardinal rules in politics, stay on message. Start saying, A, that uh, the reason that Romney's doing this is because he's part of the Republican establishment and haven't you had enough? And B, and this is vintage Trump, He's a loser. He couldn't win last time, you know, and now he thinks he's going to give us advice when he couldn't even win. I think that's going to be the main thing we're going to see all today. You know Donald Trump is twitching right now. Oh, his finger's getting ready to hit Twitter. I know. I was just going to check Twitter. <laughs> like, right as the Romney speech was going, he had not said anything yet. I'm sure he will say it now. Um, let's talk about what this means for tonight's GOP debate. How does Donald Trump deflect not only the Megyn Kelly controversy, but because he will be back in front of her again, plus Rubio, plus plus Cruz, now with Romney, how is he going to manage this tonight? We thought in these past Republican debates that we've seen fireworks. Tonight, you're going to see nitroglycerin. I, <laughs> I, just, I just think this is going to go. Clearly, one of the, I don't want to use the word problems, but one of the dynamics of tonight is, and this happens when you're the front runner, it's part of the game, et cetera. It's going to be Donald Trump against everybody else, mm -hmm. so they're all going to gang up on him. They already have the past couple debates, et cetera. But then you add into the mix the Romney factor of today, that they're going to, the other opponents are going to use that as credibility. Mm -hmm. They're going to say, we've been saying bad things about you, Mr. Trump, but now, you know, one of the leaders of our party, you know, is saying this also. So it's going to be Donald Trump on defensive. Here's the interesting thing. We've all observed this. If Donald Trump is adventure Donald Trump, he'll do well. If he gets nervous, defensive, as he does sometimes, et cetera, he could implode. Romney started off by saying, I am not announcing anything. But he didn't say he's not a candidate. So is there a potential for him? Is, there, is the door open for him at this point at all? I, did, I think at a minimum he wants to downplay that today. Yeah. Is that possible if you hear this famous term, uh, brokered convention? Clearly, would he be uh, amenable to, as we get close to the convention, if it looks like Trump doesn't have the delegates? But i got to be honest with you, looking at just basic math um, as far as what's coming up, uh, I think Trump will have the delegates by the time the convention. Very interesting. 15th is the one to watch, Florida and Ohio. Mm -hmm. If Rubio can do Florida in case it can do Ohio, Iowa, yeah, possibility they could stop Trump. I just don't see that happening. Trump right now is 20 points ahead in Florida. And he hasn't tweeted yet. I was, I was just saying, we all have it. What's we he waiting have for? Have Come on, Donald. He's on a plane. On He's on a plane going to Maine. We'll be right back with more Good Morning San Diego.